The White House just confirmed a short time ago to NBC News that President Obama teed off with golfing great Tiger Woods today. Woods lives about an hour and a half from where President Obama is vacationing this weekend, and they'll be on the course for several more hours, we're told. Joining us now from the gold course, where the two teed off today, is Tim Rosefort, senior writer for the golf world, also an insider for the Golf Channel as well. You are at the resort with the president, I understand. Tim, what more can you tell us, sir? Well, Craig, uh, the Floridian Golf and uh, Racquet Club in Palm City, Florida, about 60 miles north of, uh, of Palm Beach proper, uh, is uh, where they play their, their round of golf. The president is visiting here um, through some friends of his in Houston. He was uh, introduced to the golf course, uh, and as a result of that, has decided to take a golf buddies trip more than anything else. And as part of that, he, he took lessons from Butch Harmon and his son Claude, and then also they had been talking, Tiger and he had been talking about playing their first round of golf, and it was supposed to happen at the at the Medalist, which is in Hope Sound, about 30 minutes away. Uh, because of the weather and the, just the logistics and the security and everything, they decided to just do it here. And uh, so at about 11 o'clock today, they went off uh, the first tee at the Floridian for their first round of golf. This is not the first time they've been together, Craig. They, they met in 2009 uh, in, I believe, the Oval Office. Uh, when Tiger was in Washington to uh, promote his golf tournament, the AT&T National. So obviously a, a historic day in golf to see two figures like the president and, uh, and Tiger Woods together for the first time on a golf course. Jim, is it just the two of them or is there a foursome? No, there is a foursome. Jim Crane, uh, who is the owner of this golf course, also owns the Houston Astros and, and bought the club from Wayne Heisinger, the former uh, Dolphins owner, uh, a couple years ago, uh, is out there. Uh, he is a three handicap. Crane is a very good golfer. And um, they're also uh, accompanied by uh, Ambassador Ron Kirk, who's the former uh, mayor sure. of Dallas and very close to the president, obviously, and on his, uh, on his staff. And uh, they're playing, a, from what I'm told, a, a friendly match. Uh, it is the president and Tiger uh, against Kirk and uh, Crane. And I'm told they're about the 15th, 16th hold now. It's very close, uh, and they're having a great time. They're talking about going 27 holes, so another nine holes before the day's over. Wow, 27 holes. Any idea at this point uh, how, how Tiger's hitting them and how the president's hitting them? Well, I, I, don't, I, know Tig, I know the president's hitting it better after working with the Harmon yesterday. I bet, he he I'm had sure. about an hour in, their, in their, uh, their learning center here and was, were working on his swing, and I talked to the president afterward, and he was, uh, it's hard to find a man who was happier than the president was coming out of there yesterday after getting tweaked by the Harmons. But uh, Tiger's putting on a little show. This is the first time he's seen this golf course, Craig, and he, um, he birdied the first hole by holding a bunker shot. Originally, the Tiger and Crane, who's a very good player, were playing the very tips of the golf course and the president and Mr. Kirk were playing a couple tees up at about 6,200 yards. I'm told that they've, they're they all just playing off the same tee now just because they're having to get such a good time. And the 14th hole here is about 378 yards. Again, it's very windy today. I'm told, I'm not allowed in the course because of security clearances, yeah. but I'm told Tiger drove that green 378 yards. So he's putting on quite a show uh, for the president and for, for the, the groups that, that's allowed out there to follow him around. Tim Rose, support of the Golf Channel. Tim, thanks to you, sir. Do appreciate that. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. You do a great job. All the best. Thank you.